Happy New Year, everybody. It's Jason Wood at 11 O'Clock Comics coming at you with another previews video. This time you'll notice that we are focusing on Image Comics exclusively. And the reason for that is that Image makes up such a big chunk of the main catalog these days in terms of books that I think are worth your attention that I thought it'd be easier to separate it out like we do with the DC and Marvel content. So without further ado, let's jump into what Image has to offer for the month of January for books that will mostly be hitting the stands in March of 2023. Mark Miller is nothing if not tongue-in-cheek when it comes to self-promotion, so you'll forgive him when you read the solicit for The Ambassadors, number one of six, which says, The most ambitious comic book of all time is finally here. Putting the hyperbole aside, this book, like most of Miller's, looks a lot of fun, and the conceit here is that each of the six issues will be drawn by a different artist. And in this first issue, we've got the amazing Frank Quitely lending a hand. I should mention that this uh, concept is that you can gift superpowers to six people on the entire planet. So out of a world of eight billion people, who do you choose and why? Do Brubaker and Phillips ever take vacations? I'm being half serious with that question, but listen, we're all the better for their workaholic natures because that super team, along with Sean's son, Jacob, are back again with another original graphic novel. This time they're taking a break from the reckless universe that they have so wonderfully crafted over the last two years, and they're going with a new concept called Night Fever, which is a gripping Jekyll and Hyde thriller that's set in Europe. Can't wait. I'm sure most of you agree. I'm sure it's going to be another banger. Anytime Jeff Lemire is launching a new book, you know I'm going to be there for it. And Phantom Road number one is his new supernatural horror ongoing. He is teaming up with Gabriel Hernandez Walta and the incomparable Jordi Belair on colors to bring us what he describes as Mad Max meets the Sandman in a high-octane grindhouse horror wrapped in a dark fantasy aesthetic. Sounds dope. We had Greg Rucka on the show a long time ago. I'm going to say it was more than a decade ago, and it may be time to have him back in the fourth chair because he's back with a book that has me excite. Forged number 1, written by Greg, along with Eric Troutman, with art by Mike Henderson, this is a new ongoing series, and I'll just read you the solicit because, frankly, it sells it far better than I could. An over-the-top pulp adventure of sex, violence, and sci-fi inspired by Conan and heavy metal. Hells to the yeah. If you don't know about the Department of Truth, then I'm guessing you're coming back from a very long comics hiatus. All kidding aside, uh, this is a stunner of a book. James Tynan IV is the writer with art by a host of different creators, uh, mainly Martin Simons, I'd say, is the, uh, is, the, is the top of the billing there because he's done the most, but you've also got contributions from Elsa Charitier, Tyler Boss, John Pearson, Allison Sampson, Jorge Fornes, and a few others I'm probably forgetting. But either way, whether you've been picking this up in issues or not, Um, I think many of you will be joining me in double dipping on the Department of Truth Deluxe Edition, Volume 1, The Complete Conspiracy Hardcover. This collects the first 17 issues of this magical series for $49.99 cover price and uh, comes in at a whopping 520 pages. For those of you who haven't been picking up this book in single issues, Here's your opportunity to right an egregious wrong, and that's because we have Kaya, book one, the trade paperback. This fantasy post-apocalyptic adventure is written and drawn by friend of the show, Wes Craig, who has spent the good chunk of the last decade putting out one of the very best comics on the planet, otherwise known as Deadly Class. The dynamic duo of Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman are back at it, with Vanish number five, it's the start of a new arc for their creator-owned book. And given everything that's been going on of late with Donny Cates and his Marvel work, 
where it seems like he's taken a hiatus. I wasn't sure if we would have to wait a few months for the start of the second arc of Vanish, but lo and behold, it looks like we're all set, and that makes me, and I'm sure many of you, very happy. Bloodstained Teeth number 10 brings this series to an end, written by Christian Ward with art by Patrick Reynolds. I very much enjoyed the adventures of Vampire Atticus Sloan, as he has been tasked with killing many of the vampires he's created or faced the wrath of the firstborn elders. And it looks like in this final issue, he makes his last stand. I Hate Fairyland number five is a bittersweet solicit because I'm thrilled that we're getting another issue of this terrific fantasy humor book written by our good friend and family member, Scotty Young, drawn by Brett Bean, who took over for Scotty in this volume and really doesn't skip a beat. I think he fits in quite nicely with the aesthetic that Scotty gave us all those years in volume one. But I say this is bittersweet because unfortunately this is the end of the story arc. Now, I don't know if there's going to be a break in between arcs, but rest assured, I Hate Fairyland will continue anew. For as many months as this is solicited, you will see me mention it in these previous videos. Immortal Sergeant number three of nine. So we've got six more times you hear me talk about this one. Written by Joe Kelly with art by Ken Nimura, a.k.a. the same team that brought us the all-time great I Kill Giants. I'm sure many of you have been eagerly anticipating Kelly and Nimura's reteaming, and we're finally here. We have two for the price of one on this page. At the top is Kaya number six. Written and drawn by Wes Craig, we just talked about the trade paperback, which is also solicited this month. And down below is another book that I have spent a lot of time on this channel talking about, and that is Philadelphia. We've got issue number 29, written, as always, by Rodney Barnes, with the dynamic art team of Jason Sean Alexander and Herman Aramuspe. Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen continue their little monsters ongoing this is effectively lord of the flies meets young vampires and so far so great mark miller left us with a stunning cliffhanger in the final issue of the magic order volume three so very excited as we continue with volume four here this time we've got issue number three of six of course, written by Miller, again, with art this time out by D.K. Ruan. Uh, this continues to be a super fun book that I think is going to make a lot of waves as it's very shortly going to be a Netflix series. I refuse to accept this as reality, but I have an obligation to you all to keep it real, and so I will sadly acknowledge that Deadly Class Deluxe Edition Book 4 Kids Will Be Skeletons is solicited. And why am I sad by this? Because for those of you that listen to our podcast, you know that Deadly Class is unquestionably one of my favorite books of all time. And while we've been doing the show for the last 15 years, easily uh, at or near the top of my stack any month that it came out. But uh, for those that have been collecting it in hardcover, here is your chance to add the fourth and hmm, final collection. This collects issues 45 through 56 and is a must-have for any bookshelf. Mark Miller and artist Juanan Ramirez are back with nightclub number four of six. This continues their very fun vampire romp, which asks the question, what if vampires acted like superheroes? As a reminder, this book is only $1.99. And look, we don't buy books because they're cheap. We buy them because they're good. But it's pretty awesome when you get a good book that's also much less expensive than the others that you're ordering. A lot of books couldn't get away with such a simple solicit. But in Saga's case, they certainly can because it remains one of the very best comics of any form in any way on the stands. Written, as always, by Brian K. Vaughn. Drawn, as always, by the wonderful Fiona Staples. This solicit reads three words. Is this hell? Well, it's certainly not if you get to read this comic every month. 
That wraps up our look at Image Comics for the month of January 2023. Remember, these books will mainly be coming out in March 2023. A few will come out a bit later. Thanks, as always, for listening. Please be sure to check out 11 O'Clock Comics on any podcast feeder of your choice. And if you want more of our lovely thoughts on comics and comics culture, check us out at 11oclockcomics.com or patreon.com slash 11 o'clock comics. And last but certainly not least, our Facebook group. Go to Facebook and groups and search for 11 o'clock comics and join the fray.